Well, right now, the sturgeon spawning season continues across much of northeast Wisconsin, a popular spot to check out all the action this past weekend. And today was the Wolf River in Shyocton. Spawning started on Saturday at Bar Bamboo Bend, and today was a peak with activity. Many people came down to see the sturgeon up close. DNR officials also say the warm weather helped the spawning season start early, and it may wrap up fast. Do not wait with this warm weather. The likelihood is, is, is this is going to be a very, very quick spawn. So they could be here today, gone tomorrow kind of thing. So if you're waiting for this weekend, you're waiting too long. Make sure you get out. Um, if you hear sturgeon are spawning, head out and go see. DNR officials, there are numerous uh, at numerous locations uh, where sturgeon are spawning, but it doesn't all happen at the same time. You can head to our website, fox11online.com, to check out the underwater cameras for yourself and get some daily updates there on the spawning. Well, spawning is also underway in Shawano along the Wolf River. Fox 11 meteorologist Phil DeCastro takes us there. Sturgeon Park in Shawano living up to its name Monday afternoon, and onlookers didn't need to look very hard to see the prehistoric fish gathering for spring spawning. Jody Ebeling comes back every year, and she says it's like a sign that spring has finally arrived. I like spring, and I like the new life, so watching the sturgeon spawn, you start seeing the spring flowers and then the birds, and sturgeon are one of those things. For others, it was a new experience. Kira Vandenang brought her son, Neo, to take in the sights. She says in prior years, she's waited too long, but not this year. Oh, yes, he's been running the running me around everywhere, leading the way. <laughs> I saw a friend of mine post on Facebook that there's the sturgeon, and I'm like, I better get out there as soon as I can. So I found the opportunity today, and I'm like, let's just go see the sturgeon. Obviously, sturgeon don't have calendar reminders or anything like that to know when spawning starts. What they rely on is water temperature. The Wisconsin DNR says a water temperature of about 53 degrees is what they need to feel in order for spawning to start. And what do you know? The temperature coming in right around 53, 54 degrees. For siblings Beckett and Ruby, they got to skip school with Grandma to check out the big fish splashing around. I saw like maybe 200 fins Whoa. and maybe like Two of them jump out of the water. That's awesome. And I, I thought one was like, swimming yeah. underwater. And what'd you see? I, I thought one over there. Oh my gosh, you see a lot of sturgeon. Yeah. Do you guys having a lot of fun? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In Shauna, meteorologist Phil DeCastro, Fox 11 News. Now, in addition to the Wolf River, sturgeon have also been seen spawning in several other locations. On the upper Fox River, sturgeon are actively spawning at the Princeton Dam. Sturgeon have been spotted below the De Pere Dam, so spawning may happen there soon. And on the Peshtigo River, the DNR reports active sturgeon spawning at the Peshtigo Dam. If you're out and uh, managed to capture sturgeon spawning in action, we want to see it. Just scan the QR code on your screen, and that will take you to the chime in section of our website where you can submit your photos and videos. Uh, Emily, how's it going out there? They are active this morning, <laughs> Rachel. I can confirm sturgeon spawning is happening here at Bamboo Bend in Shyocton. Uh, my photographer Mike and I kind of moved down the area to see where, you know, there were a lot of sturgeon right here along the Wolf River. And I have to say, it has been really cool. I, I mean, Rachel, I've been covering this for, what, 14 years now. It does not get old. Every year, it, it seems to get even better. Today out here in Shyocton, what a beautiful morning. You know, there was buzz last week, Rachel, on Friday about sturgeon spawning it may happen and this weekend it really did it's underway right now oh mike down there i feel like they're really active so this is a great spot for people rachel oh one just jumped out of the water oh i i seriously i get giddy just watching this because how often do you get to be up close to these prehistoric fish? So right here in Shyocton at Bamboo Bend, they have a nice little walkway. Obviously, there are some rocks and everything here. You can't get right up to them, but you can see them at a really good spot if you're here on the uh, just the gravelly part of the sidewalk. And man, I have to tell you, it's just so cool to watch them. They have a nice observation area, too, where there are cameras that are in the water. Obviously, pretty quiet right now, but this past weekend, a lot of people came out here. People bring their kids. It's a tradition for people every single year we did contact um, the DNR as well 
to see if their biologists could come out here. So we're hoping to get more people out here later this morning to talk to, to see how the weekend has been going and to see what this week holds too. But something really to see. And as the sun comes up, we're gonna get a, a better look at these sturgeon as well in the water spawning. I feel like we just wrapped up the sturgeon spearing season and now we're already spawning. Things are just moving right along, Rachel. <laughs> we're gonna have more coming up later this morning. The sturgeon are spawning across Northeast Wisconsin. Let's check in with Emily Deem. She is live at Bamboo Bend. It's a popular spot to take all the action in. Hi, Em. It's a popular spot, Rachel. It's an active spot this morning. You know, Pete had mentioned earlier a tradition unlike any other. We're not talking about the Masters or golf when we're talking about spawning. We're talking about a ritual like no other. Here's a little fact sheet you could get if you come out here to check the sturgeon spawning. We're right here along the Wolf River and things are moving quickly. Margaret Stadig is the DNR biologist. She is joining us this morning. It's been an extremely busy weekend for you. Thank you for joining us. You were talking about the sturgeon spawning. I mean, uh, things happen pretty fast, right? Yeah, so with the warm weather we've had recently, um, the sturgeon just turned on and they've been going since uh, probably Saturday, but today seems like a really peak day, particularly here at Bamboo Bend and probably over at New London as well. You said if you want to come out and experience this, today is the day. Yeah, so because of the warm weather, likelihood is this is going to go a lot quicker than it usually has, or particularly in the last two years. Um, so if you're waiting for next weekend to get out or anything like that, I wouldn't. I'd get out now, um, today, when we're telling you they're here, because they may not be here long. There are a lot of different places that people can see, and um, even though there are different places, not all sturgeon are spawning right now. Yeah, so there's a couple places that still haven't started spawning yet, so the Shano Dam is one of them. We know the fish are starting to stage up there, and they'll likely go in the next day or two. Um, and then there's other places like Princeton, New London, um, and right here. So they don't all go at once, but here, New London and Princeton, definitely you can see fish. So if you're in any of those locations, make sure you head out and see them. You know, it's really cool for people to obviously come out here and take in the spawning, but for you with the DNR, this is very helpful. You have a lot of equipment. You guys are active even with spawning season. Right. So yeah, so during the spawning season, what we're doing is we're tagging fish. So we're basically going into the water, um, netting the fish, getting them out of the water, bringing them up, and then we do kind of a, a general work above them. We get, we measure them, see how long they are. We check them for a sec. We also check them from a tag. And the tags help us estimate the population size, which then ultimately goes back into the spearing seasons, which helps me set those caps, those safe harvest caps, so that way we can continue to have a very safe and healthy population. Have you seen anything so far this spawning season with the sturgeon you've been examining? Nope, uh, they're still all fairly healthy. Um, we're still seeing a lot of them. A lot of them are coming up. We saw a decent bit yesterday, and I we're seeing more today. So as of right now, um, just for a sense check, everything seems to be good. All right, Margaret, thank you so much for joining us. Like she said, if you want to come check this out for yourself, today is the day out here in Shyacton. We're at bamboo bend we did have a quick little rush there just a little bit ago a good group were out here but man you you can see they are active you guys we'll send it back to you for now and like she said see it now because if you wait you'll miss out thanks the sturgeon spawning season is underway emily deem is live at bamboo bend it's a popular spot to check out the action morning em <laughs> Rachel, good morning to you. Hi, everybody. What a beautiful day we have out here in Shyacton at Bamboo Bend. It was a great weekend. A lot of people were out yesterday checking out the sturgeon spawning season. Look at this. We're right here along the Wolf River, and you can see the sturgeon right there. One just jumped out of the water. It has been a very active morning. You know, this is the spot where you want to be today. We have great weather, and a lot of people are like, hey, how do you know when the sturgeon are going to spawn, and what helps you? Cameras in the water help a lot, and we have Gary Bennell here with us this morning with the Wolf River Cam. Good morning. Morning, Gary. How are you? I'm doing great. We're back out here for another year. Talk about Wolf River Cam and what it does and how it helps a lot with the spawning season. Well, Wolf River Cam is an underwater uh, cameras that we broadcast online. For the sturgeon, we actually, Shadows on the Wolf, put some cameras on Bamboo Bend here and we help them broadcast them. So that kind of together effort to let people know um, what's going on or when the sturgeon are coming and, you know, Facebook posts and stuff. We're out there on social media to let everybody know what time is to, to come down. Yeah, it's really active on social media. You said you had a lot of followers, too. A lot of people are wanting to know. Yeah, so we're at 20,000 followers now. So just we do updates out in the mornings, uh, at night sometimes, um, different times of the day, just to let you know what not only where the walleyes are doing, what the sturgeon are doing, and all the species in between. It's so helpful. What are you thinking about this morning? What have you seen? You know, how cool is it every year? Yeah, it's, it's it just we forget throughout the year how incredible it is and then you know we've been seeing it. i've been around it for i'm 50 so i can't believe i'm 50 but um 
it just every year it's just mesmerizing. You probably never see the fish more than once or twice in their life, whatever, because there's so many of them. So it's just amazing. And to be this close, it's so cool. Well, thanks for all that you do. Let's go ahead and talk to Margaret Stadig. She is the DNR biologist and you have a lot of equipment out here. It's going to be a busy day for the DNR. Talk about how people get to watch you guys in action too. Yeah, so the fish are here and they're spawning. And during this time of year, we do a lot of our tagging and that helps us get a better understanding of how big the population is and how healthy the population is. So today we'll be netting them, we'll be bringing them up onto the shoreline, measuring them, um, figuring out if they're male or female, and then giving them a tag or checking to see if they already have a tag before letting them go. So it's a good chance to kind of almost see a sturgeon even closer than what they are right now. Um, we'll be at New London for a little while and here at Bamboo Bend if anyone's around and wants to come see what we do. You said today is the day to come out here like now to check it out. Yeah, do not wait. With this warm weather, the likelihood is is, is this is going to be a very, very quick spawn. So they could be here today, gone tomorrow kind of thing. So if you're waiting for this weekend, you're waiting too long, make sure you get out. Um, if you hear sturgeon are spawning, head out and go see. So. All right, Margaret, thank you so much. Yeah, we've had a good group, too, of people that are coming through to check it all out. I talked to one lady. It was her first time. She's like, you know, I, I, I work now in the area. I've never been here before, and I wanted to come check it out. And, man, it is something to see, that's for sure. We'll post all the information on our website. Come on out here to Bamboo Bend and experience it for yourself. We'll send it back. Back to you. And what a great day to do it. Thanks, Em.